morning everyone and welcome to today's video. By watching my videos, I'm an extremely frugal person. But I'm going to share with you something today that unless you are watching the news, you probably haven't heard. But student loans destroyed my income. Now that's not just for a day or a week. I've actually waited for quite a while before showing you this video. How did student loans destroy my income? Well, I'm about to share with you the knowledge that I have about student loans and in the economy in general. Now, I am not someone who is up on world news and things like that, but I know when it affects me, it's probably affecting many other people as well. Anyone who has a small business is probably being affected as well. So let's get right into the video. I'm Homestead Tessie. My channel is all about homesteading and living this simple life. But as much as I like to save money, I will admit that I do need an income. I need money like everyone else. And when the economy goes bust, well, it affects everyone, even me. Now, it doesn't affect me quite as much as it would someone else who lives a very high life and has a lot of expenses but it still affects me and it affects me in a way that was even more drastic than it's ever affected me before i've done videos on my income being 50 percent less well actually my income is even less than that right now and i'm going to tell you the reason why it may surprise you When all of the things that was happening in our world the last two years, there was a lot of tax breaks. There was a lot of breaks that people were getting. And one of them was people that had student loans. That was a break because people didn't have to pay on their student loans at the time when all of these crises was happening in our world. Well, now people are having to pay on their student loans. Once again, with people paying all their student loans, now they're not spending money and that's where it comes into effect with me because my main line of business is social media and the economy plays a big part in my life even though i'm partly off grid and i live a simple life but my income comes from the economy and how people spend their money and all of a sudden when the news broke out that they will have to be starting to pay back on their student loans all of a sudden, the students weren't spending money. Now you can see how this has a trickle down effect and that's why it's called trickle down effect because when people up here stop spending money, then it goes down to here, to here, to here, to here, and then it's a trickle effect. So for me, I can't spend the kind of money that I was spending, even though I was really frugal, I still was able to get some things and do some things in my life that benefit my life take an instant like the shed back here so when things were going really well and people were spending money that was paying me more money that was able for me to have this shed and to do all kinds of upkeeps on our property well the amish who built this shed got paid by us and so they had more money and then they were able to do more things and so we go down like a domino effect why I know about all of these things is because my income drastically dropped, not 50%, it's closer to 75%. And it happened really quick because some prominent people were telling the students not to spend money because of the student loans becoming back into effect. The students have to pay their loans, that means they're not spending money. Families are not spending the kind of money that they used to spend. 
hey, I totally get it and I understand it. And this was something I knew would happen. I just didn't know when, and I just didn't know exactly how. But when people stop spending their money, it makes a huge difference for everyone. This is just the, the top of the iceberg, in my opinion. Now, this is not a doomsday video. This is explaining to you a lot of the things that I am working on and about not preparing for hard times in a bad situation where you feel like you're depressed and you feel like you, you're just, just in a survival mode and you don't know how you're gonna find your joy, but it's in a way that you can watch me and you can see how it's working for me. So now we are into October, going into October, and October is usually my highest months. But this year it's been absolutely crazy because the economy has been crazy. So what's happening is people are not spending their money because they don't have the money, or a lot of people like me now say, okay, this is just the beginning. I'm not gonna spend my money because I think I know what's gonna happen. I believe come January, things are going to get so much worse. Now, why am I saying all this to all of you? It's because I wanna give you a heads up. Because I am in a market where I can see what's happening quicker than somebody maybe who would just watch it on the news. And I am saying people are not spending their money, people are not buying things. When people don't buy things, that just really affects all of us. And that really makes the economy totally different. And so I do believe that food prices are gonna go higher. And I am sharing you all of these things because it's my knowledge and it's what I know. And I need to share it with all of you. I am not going to show you um, personal information. I can't do that because I have to keep some of my life private. But you can go ahead and read for yourself about student loans and how they're starting to come into effect on October 1st and how people are going to be required to pay for their student loans. And a lot of things also can happen when people hear news that maybe it might not even be 100% true, but people panic. And then when they panic, they don't spend for things and they save their money or, or they spend for certain things. But I do know the economy is getting a lot worse. But that doesn't have to necessarily be bad news. So for me, I don't have any debt. And so while this is not a hardship as far as I'm able to pay my bills, it is a life change for me because now I have to put into effect all of the things that I was thinking about for the last two years. Two years ago, when you saw us putting up this new shed and you saw us you know, taking trees down and saw all of these things, I had an amazing year. It was absolutely the most amazing year. And then we were able to do some things that really needed done. I mean, plumbing issues and stuff like that. We really needed that done. And we used our money for all of that. But now there's things that we don't necessarily need to have done. Of course, we would love to have it done, but that's not gonna happen. So we're stopping building projects. And when we stop building projects, that means lumber and things like that we aren't buying. That means the person who's manufacturing the lumber isn't getting any money. That means they're not gonna have as much lumber. You know how it works. And it goes down to all of us, especially blue collar workers. So if people are used to getting their hair cut at a, you know, at a salon and their money is tight, well, they're gonna cut their own hair. And if they cut their own hair, then the person isn't making any money that works at the salon. And so all of those things trickle down. And I'm seeing it firsthand. I'm hit extremely hard right at this moment. And that just means I don't have quite the, I can't buy everything that I wanted to buy or things like that. But when times were good, I did stock up on some things. I stocked up on my bar laundry soap, my Zote soap. <laughs> so I could make laundry soap for five years. I stocked up on practical things. I stocked up on all of that. And of course you see my food. Now I don't have the money to buy as much food and the luxuries of you know just going and buying things. 
Now you're starting to see my videos where I'm talking about preparing for hard times. And preparing for hard times is different for everyone. But I'm preparing for hard times in a practical sense, and that's what you're seeing on my videos. I'm thankful I have solar units. I'm thankful I am able to live on barely nothing. Prepper Princess just did a video out where she is talking about, you know, the real bare bones budgeting. And it's a really good video and I'm gonna share her video at the end of mine because she does have a lot of practical knowledge and does have a lot of practicality. Now for her, things are really different because she lives in California. So she's talking about using the sun oven and she's talking about solar and how she gets paid for solar. But see, we're in the Northeast here. We don't have solar like that. I don't, I don't have days and days of sunshine but I am starting to cook using the sun whenever I can. But in Pennsylvania, we don't have that. So we wouldn't be able to make money on solar like somebody who lives in the South. But I'm here to show you practical, very old fashioned skills and very old fashioned ways to save money because I've been preparing for this. And so I think a lot of times people can be discouraged when they see videos like mine where I have solar or I have all of these things and rain barrels and. I have a washing machine outdoors and all of these things. But you see, it took me 13 years of buying some of these things to be able to set my life up for today. And today means right now things are extremely rough when it comes to the financial system out there. And people are not spending money at all. I do work with handing out free food to people and that is absolutely crazy now. When we first started, we might've got 100 people, 200. Now we're getting five to six to 700 people. It is absolutely amazing to see people coming and getting free food and it's, it's so a wonderful blessing for them. But I am seeing that the hardships are now really starting to trickle down. And we focus on families, you know, yes, we have children and it's hard with school and going back to school and paying for clothing and paying for food for children, but we aren't thinking about the other people. How about Social Security, senior citizens, and how it's affecting them? Even though they're, they, get seen, they get Social Security checks, well, their Social Security checks are not moving like the food prices are. In other words, they may get a little bit of a bonus here and there, but it's not as much as the cost of living. But we're not talking about students. and the millions of people that are having student loans because they're trying to have a higher education, because they were trying to make a better life for themselves, because they were trying to have better income. And a lot of them are finding themselves working in blue collar jobs, but with the expense of a college education. Now I'm not getting into all of that because I have a totally opposite idea on a college education than what some people do. I believe in the old fashioned way. I believe in people growing up and working hard and climbing the corporate ladder. You know, I do believe in education. I believe it can be very beneficial to a lot of people, but I'm just saying there's a lot of people who found that their education is not paying for their student loans. And what's happening is they're getting jobs that aren't paying that high, but yet then they have all these student loans. Now, of course, there are some careers where you do get paid very well, but it's years of education to get to that point. And so when they're not spending any money and they are just tightening down their spending, which is an amazing thing, I'm all for that but it does trickle down to all of us and it affects all of us. And because they're not spending, I'm not spending, because I'm not spending, someone else isn't spending. And it's time that we get out of debt. I, I cannot say it more strongly, is to get out of debt if you possibly can. If that means sell stuff, downsize, do it. I did it. It's not easy, it's the hardest thing you could ever do, but if you can possibly downsize and get out of debt, now is the time to do it. In fact, last year was the time to do it because it's getting harder and harder and harder as the years go by. Get out of debt, live an extreme frugal life, and you will find that you will have life abundantly even when the crisis of the world is all around you. I am still living abundantly, even though I don't have the income and I don't know when I will get my income back, if I ever will, to like it was two years ago when we were able to do all of these things. But be encouraged, 
be of great cheer because even though things are happening in the world, it's a life lesson and we can learn so many things from it. I am learning every single day. I'm dusting off my old 1970 back to the nature books and I am learning how to live with less and I'm finding life is just as enjoyable, if not even more. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.